Hi guys and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So let's roll the clocks back to 1969 and turn our eyes to Guam. Uh, at this time, a little project began to help solve two problems, too many old car tires and depleting marine life. So in the immortal footsteps of Mr. Reese's and Mr. Pineapple Pen, someone thought it'd be a good idea to dump a bunch of old tires in the Cocos Lagoon in Guam. Surely the tough, intricate shapes made by the tyres would encourage marine life there to uh, sort of boost numbers, right? Well, turns out no. Fish seem to think that our trash is just that, trash as well. Uh, and this project lasted about four years before they found out that the uh, the tyre reefs just didn't recruit enough fish to be deemed effective. And there they sat until October 2019, when officials decided that maybe someone should, you know, clean up the piles of nearly two and a half thousand old car tires just out in their waters. The tires sit at just about six meters underwater, so they're pretty easy to get to, but government officials have worked out that it will probably cost upwards of $250,000 to clean them all up. Well, the government received a NOAA grant to pay for this work, but of course, the uh, amount of the grant has not been disclosed, so mm, there might be some... Mm, uh, uh, oh, that, and they, uh, they've lost one of the reefs of about 350 tires. They, they just don't know where it is. But don't worry, because over the next three years, scientists are going to search and study the area before they recover any of the tires. They're gonna be replanting any coral that has grown on the tires so they can uh, sort of return to the area to um, being cleaner, basically, and more natural than how they found it. The scientists are going to analyze the reef before, during, and after um, the worst to uh, to basically assess, sorry, the work, to uh, to assess the marine life and uh, any changes due to the removal efforts. And what happens to the tires? Well, they're gonna be shredded and shipped to Asia, where it can be burnt for fuel in the cement industry or for rubberized asphalt, which is a good thing, maybe. So they're not just gonna be dumping them elsewhere, which is nice. Um, but who is involved in this cleanup? Well, NOAA is of course involved, along with the Guam Environmental Protection Agency, along with several other departments and agencies and regional offices. But if they're looking for divers who want to dive in the South Pacific with a lift bag, then I might be available, especially if they're paying. Um, but what do you guys think? Was it a sensible idea to dump a bunch of old car tires to build a new reef? Or could it have just been an excuse to, you know, get rid of some of this trash in our oceans. At least NOAA's cleanup plan includes educating locals on marine trash and how it affects our oceans. So hopefully going forwards, they'll stop just putting stuff in the ocean. Anyway, let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. There have been many studies and papers documenting behavioral shifts and examples of migrating sharks because of rising temperatures and pH shifts in the water that are potential effects of climate change all of which David looked into before asking behavioural specialists and Twitter for their views on the Metro's claim. David then